Hello, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at if statements in QBasic. So let's get started. Launch QBasic application. So QBasic is launched. Now, in programming, there are times you will come across a particular situation or a particular problem that requires that you make a decision. So if the first option is not available, then you do or perform the second option. A clear practical example is you are sent to the market to buy milk. The person sending you will tell you that if you go and there is no milk, buy sugar. So this is a practical example of how uh, if statements works in real life. So we're going to look at how to do it programmatically in QBasic. So the first thing we want to do is let's declare a variable, say a number. So we've declared a number as integer. Now the next thing we want to do is that we want to check, okay, anytime Let's assign this number first of all to a particular value so we can say number is equal to 20. Now let's perform something using the if statement. We want to say if this particular number we have declared has a value greater than 20, then we should print this number is greater than 20. That's what we want to do. So, how do you do that? You just type if number is greater than and we are using the greater than sign is greater than 20 then you print we have a red highlighting don't worry okay just continue typing whatever you want to type Now, in order for this red highlighting to vanish, you have to end your if statement. So anytime you don't end your if statement, you would always have that red line highlighting your code. So we've written um, a program here. We've defined a number as integer. That particular number, we've assigned a value of 20 to it. Now we are doing a piece of logic here. If number is greater than 20 then print this number is greater than 20 then that's all if the number is not greater than 20 don't do anything we didn't tell the computer to do anything okay so right now if we should run this particular code it's going to read if number is assigned 20 so it's going to read if 20 is greater than 20 so is 20 greater than 20? No. So it means our program would not output anything. Let's try it. Perfect. So you realize that nothing has been outputted because 20 is not greater than 20, but 20 is equal to 20. We, we've not told our program to do anything if the number is not greater than 20. So it simply does nothing. Okay, let's play around with this number here. So instead of 20, let's increase it to 50. When we run it, we should expect to get this number is greater than 20. So voila, this number is greater than 20. Do you get it? Perfect. So if we keep playing around with these numbers, then um, anytime this condition, this condition number is greater than 20 is satisfied, then this piece of code would execute. Perfect. Now let's look at the other side where we would want to do something if the condition is not met. So we want to say, let's change this back to 20. But then we want to say that, uh, let me change it to 19. We want to say, anytime the number is not greater than 20, then you should 
output this number is less than 20 so how do you do that how you do it is that you add an L statement so we want to do something if that thing is not possible then do the other thing okay so here we simply type the keyword else and then what do we want to do we simply print this number is less than 20 so when when we run this okay the logic is going to read if number so it's going to be if 19 is greater than 20 is 19 greater than 20 no so this block of code will not be executed rather the else would be executed so let's run it so this number is less than 20 you get it this number is less than 20 which is true okay what if we should put 20 okay what would the program output so the logic is going to read if 20 is greater than 20 then so you ask yourself is 20 greater than 20 no so it means that the else part would be what executed so let's run it so we have this number is less than 20 but this is not true okay this is not true 20 is not less than 20 20 is equal to 20 so what we want to do is that we want to reconstruct our condition say that we wouldn't get um a, a, a meanless um, output so what we should do is that we should say if number is greater or equal to 20 then print this number is greater or equal to 20 so this is quite better now so when we run this we would get this number is greater or equal to 20 which is true because 20 is equal to 20 perfect now let's write a program okay that would take an input from the user so we are going to write a program that would determine whether a particular person is eligible to vote in Ghana okay so that's going to be our program and we all know that per the constitution of Ghana you need to be 18 years or above before you can vote so the first thing we need to do is to deem our variable which is age as an integer so deem age as integer the next thing to do is to take input from the user we've already learned all of this so take input from the user we prompt the user to enter your age and then we store the user's age that he has entered into the variable age the next thing to do is now to check if that person's age the age the person entered is greater than or equal to 18 then we can output you can vote so this is where the logic comes in so we simply type if age is greater or equal to 18 then you simply print you can vote but if your age is not greater or equal to 18 so we add an else else print you can not vote I print not print after everything you need to end your if 
Okay, so this is a very simple program to determine whether a person can vote or not in Ghana. Let's try it. So we have our program action has to enter our age. So let me enter 90. If I should hit enter, it says you can vote. Let's run it one more time. Enter your age. If I should hit 12, it says you cannot vote. Let's try it for the last time. If I should run and I should input 18, I should exp I should be able to vote. So it says you can vote. So this is a program to check or to um, find out whether a person can vote. Now let's look at what is wrong with our program. When we run this, we get enter your age. A user can enter negative 80, um, 98. Then you have you cannot vote. But negative 98 is not a valid age. So the next program we are going to create is that anytime the user enters an, a, an age that is not valid, we simply tell the person invalid age. Uh, sorry, invalid, yes, invalid age. Okay, so let's start. We are still going to need age, so we deem our age as an integer. The next thing is that we will take input from the user, so we are going to say input, enter your age. Then we store that in the variable age. Then we need to first of all check for invalid age. Okay, so I'm going to add a comment here. Check for invalid age. Now this is how I expect you to use comments in QBasic. So what you need to do is simply process your logic. We want to say that if age is less than zero, then it means that if the user enters a negative age, then we can print invalid age. But if he enters a valid age, we now want to continue with our program, which is say we want to now check to see if he really can vote. So over here, if he doesn't enter a valid age, then we can now check to see if he is greater than or equal to 18. So we can say if age is greater or equal to 18, then you can print you can vote else then we print you cannot vote after this we will end our first if statement and then we will end the second if statement so there are two if statements here all right this is what we call nested if statements meaning an if statement inside another if statement this is the main if statement or the father if statement and this is a child if statement this child if statement can be found in the father if statement this is what we read uh, um, we call nested if statements in programming so let's run it and see whether our program has any bugs. So it says enter your age. If I should enter negative nine, I'm told that's an invalid age. Okay. It says enter your age again. If I should enter 78, it says you can vote. Let's run it for the last time. If I should enter 12, it says you cannot vote. 
So this is how we use if statements in QBasic. You can play around with these programs and then you will learn more by yourself. Thank you for watching this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel.